In this part, we are going to learn about the environment of the software. That knowing every part can really help you to learn the tools and the software better. Uh, that we will try to talk about uh, each of them in future. The icon that you can see here, uh, as you can see, is application button. Uh, that in, in fact, we can just uh, call it application menu. But as you can see, it has some uh, standard icons like all of the softwares that you've used them before. Like for example, new, open, save, save as export. Here are some standards that you know about them all. You have a list in front of it that you can see that actually we call it quick access toolbar. By this icon, you can just bring it down to use it easier. You can actually have a right click on some icons that you use a lot. And then uh, you can just add them by this icon into quick access toolbar. And if you don't need them, you can remove them by this. For instance, I use appearance a lot. I kind of right click on that and add it there. Or for example, I can go to review section. I use this icon a lot. I can just add it here. Or even I use measure a lot. I can have right click on it and add it here. We can have access to them here. It means you can use them very easily here in this quick access toolbar. Or even if I want to have a kind of distance among them, I can click on add separator and then you can see we can have a kind of distance between the icons. And again, also for the next icon, you can have right click on it and add separator, and then you can have a distance to choose better actually. The next part that we call it ribbon it has some different tabs. For example, home, viewpoint, review, and others. And every tab has some panels. For example, project, select and search, visibility, display, and tools. There are kinds of addressing. For example, sometimes you want to study about the foreigner books, foreigner research. It has given you an address. For example, in home, the project tab. As an example, uh, the tool of append. Or refresh, or any of them. So we call them ribbon tab and the others. And uh, the shape that you can see here is called view cube. That it can show you the views like east, west, or a perspective that you can see them here. Or if you click on one specific tool or icon and then click on this button, it will be zoomed. That you can find it or see it better. So let me go on viewpoint and then go on walk icon. That, that I can bring the character here. Of course, we will talk about them later. Uh, like this that you can see okay so we talked about it and now let's go to the next part we call this part as navigation bar these are some tools that you can move through the software environment for example here we have the pan uh, tool or even orbit tool or other items that we will talk about them later completely because these tools are in viewpoint in this part that we will talk about them. As you can see, we have some windows here that every window has a different speaking word and sentences for, each, for itself. That if you activate every tool here, you can activate or disactivate every window there. Uh, you can activate or inactivate every window there. Uh, for example, the properties that you can see here, I can click on it and then inactivate it. Or for Clash Detective, I can close it too. And none of them is open there. Like this, as you can see. So, for example, the Navigate that you can see here, I can activate or inactivate it. Or even for View Cube, I can activate or inactivate it again. Or, for example, I close the Show Title Bar here. And let me check here. Okay, I closed all of the windows. Exit measurement tools that is here, and I can close it too. And the icon offset, which is here, and I also can close it too. Actually, like this, as you can see. 
and we call this part the status bar that you can see ready there on the right side you can see some icons that here is called performance indicator that actually it will show you the movements of the software or for example here you can see the numbers of tools that you're using this is called sheet browser if you click on it you will see the window like this it can help you to open some files together one of the deficiencies that we can say of course let's not say deficiencies it's the structure of the Navis works and that is you cannot open some files simultaneously or even two files like 3d max that you cannot open two files simultaneously but in Revit or AutoCAD you can do it for example this file is open here also I can I'll open a new file and the last file is not closed you can see here but in Navis works you cannot do it and if you want to open a new file you should close the last file or it will automatically will be closed so because of that we have a sheet browser here that we can add the files there and we can switch among them uh, for example let me go uh, into a document I've, I've copied some files three files for you here mechanical structure and architecture uh, of course I didn't get the export from that so let me go through the address I put Navis works there yes here let's open the structural file because it is lighter than other files uh, in size yes and then I go uh, into file export and NWC of course we will talk about the settings of the export here and I save it and then for example I will choose a name for it in the name of for example NWC and then I, I will save it and then after saving we will go here and then I will open it so if you have a double click on every icon you can change the window of the Navis works so by this way you can have some windows uh, otherwise you cannot just go through the other windows if you click on new icon it'll close the file completely so after here we talked about the tools